Hi, I'm Sherilyn, a reporter with Pulse Magazine, and I'm here at Asbury Park's West Side Community Center. Today, the Asbury Park Democratic Committee is hosting a barbecue, giving away beach badges, and asking the local community about their concerns on Election Day. Historically, the voting districts on the West Side had the lowest turnout in all of Asbury Park. The Asbury Park Democratic Committee wants to know why and what can be done to get the numbers up. Let's go talk to some people at the barbecue. Hi, can I just ask who you are? Sure, Congressman Frank Pallone, and I've represented Asbury in Congress since 1988. Hi, can I just ask who you are? Yeah, my name's Amy Quinn. I'm the chair of the Asbury Park Democrats, and I'm the vice chair of the Monmouth County Democrats. Hi, can I just ask what your name is? My name is Vin Gopal. And what do you do for Asbury Park? Uh, I am running for the State Assembly District, which represents Asbury Park. Hi, my name is uh, Bill Shea. And what is your involvement in Asbury Park? Uh, I come from uh, a background uh, similar to this, and uh, I want to get in here, revitalize the community, all that Asbury Park has to offer in the beach and the businesses, and just the, uh, the great human element that's here as well. Can I ask what your involvement is in Asbury Park? Oh, gee, you, you, how much time do you have? Are you registered to vote? Yes, ma'am, I am. And do you vote? Yes, I do. I never miss voting. If you want to see real change in your community, you need to vote, and the people, certainly on a local level, have the ability to create that change. It is very important. If you don't vote, then, you know, how are you going to influence what we do in Congress or in the state legislature or the local mayor or council? It's crucial. When I moved to Asbury Park, I started voting because I realized... It needed to be, you know, <laughs> you needed to vote. <laughs> when you're upset because something happened this way, it's because you probably didn't vote, and your vote could have made a difference, and it really does. That's why I think it's important. Are you registered to vote? Yes, I'm registered to vote. been registered since I turned 18. And do you vote? Every time. I would say they care, but I think one of the main problems is they really don't understand a lot of the situations. I think the local politicians are doing a good job right now. Do you think the politicians care about the community? No. I'd like to see them become really involved more with the community and listen to their community. I'm not sure they listen. If I, if I never saw you, but you say you you're, you represent this part of town, if I never saw you, then I'm, I'm, I'll be a little leery to trust you. Do you think Asbury Park is getting better or worse? I think Asbury Park is, uh, that's a really good question. Do you think Asbury Park is getting better or worse? Do you think Asbury Park is getting better or worse? Do you think Asbury Park is getting better or worse? <sighs> that's questionable. There's definitely been some progress, you can't deny that, but there are also parts of Asbury Park that have not seen much progress, and that would be my issue. Oh, I think it's definitely getting better. I mean, wherever I see, I look around, I see uh, homes being restored, and I see new buildings. Uh, I think there are areas of Asbury Park that are better, and there, there are areas of Asbury Park that are getting worse. I think uh, crime and gang violence have been an issue. I think the school systems have not been getting better. Uh, I wouldn't say it's getting worse because there is still movement, but there's not enough movement. I think it's getting better. I think you have to say it's getting better. I mean, there's a lot of good things going on, obviously. I mean, look over there. There's, you know, construction everywhere. Go down near the beach, everything like that. You know, it's a, it's a good-looking town. As far as uh, political, yes. As far as, um, and as far as, uh, uh, as far as, like, uh, violence and stuff, worse. Is there any ideas that you can provide that would help get Esway Park to where it should be? We need to work together as a community, try to get more stronger male figures to get into the streets, to try to take control of our, uh, our neighborhoods again with neighborhood watch parties, night patrols, anything we can do to try to get crime down. First of all, they, should, they can start off by having classes on how to communicate. There's a whole bunch of broken communication around here. That's why we have all this violence and misunderstanding and people stealing money, and it's a lot. They got baby bloods now at 12, 10 years old, so I would say you would need something recreational for the kids. 
I think if there were just more job programs like there were and training programs like they were back in the 70s and 80s. The problems that we do have, uh, I think they stem from families in that the families are not disciplining the children as they should and grandparents trying to raise their grandchildren and the grandchildren are taking over. It's more what is needed by the people who elect these politicians and I'd like to see the people engage themselves more into the electoral process. I think in terms of changing the, the community and making it into the community that you want, you should elect officials that represent you. Okay, thank you. That's it for now. I'm Cheryl Lynn with Pulse Magazine and I encourage you all to go out and vote. Every vote matters. Thank <laughs> you.